In my experience, pensions are terrible. Now, are they terrible for everyone? Is your experience good with them? Can they be helpful to people? Absolutely. But in my experience, very limited experience, uh, I'm a little disillusioned, let's put it that way. So looking up information in the pension that I was a part of, so uh, in the state that I work and for the government job that I had, it was a mandatory participation that 12% uh, of your paychecks got to go into this pension fund, okay? Uh, first off, wow. 12%. I mean, just punch me right in the solar plexus, okay? Uh, that's quite a chunk of change. And at the time, I was being paid $65,000. So on an annual basis, that comes out to $7,800 per year that I was contributing. And then I worked there for a little over a year. And so we're going to round down to a year just for easy maths. So uh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> You definitely feel that 12% with every paycheck, and once that uh, contribution rate actually started, which was a few months into working, we felt it, for sure. But um, outside of that, I look up information on this particular pension fund, and there's some wonderful little fine print there where the employer contributions to it, which are great for most retirement programs. So let's say you've got an, uh, a 401k set up with a job, right? You contribute up to a certain percentage and your employer matches that. And sometimes that's vested immediately and sometimes there's a stipulation on it that you have to work there for so many years before employer contributions are matched. Great, but uh, they're matched <laughs> either immediately or eventually. With this pension program, if you leave that employer or leave and don't go to another employer that participates in that pension, all employer contributions are then forfeited. What? That's quite the small print there. So if you stop participating in this pension program, anything that they contributed no longer applies to your pension benefits. Wow, that's, uh, that's one way to try to regain solvency, I guess. Uh, wow, another little gut punch from him. Great. Um, so that's $7,800 that I contributed over the course of that year. If I log into the pension portal now, and there's a little refund button, so you can uh, pull your money back out before retirement, or you can leave it in there and retire off whatever pitiful pension distributions you're going to get. Uh, yeah, I go to that refund tab and they give you an estimate of how much money you can get back for, for pulling out early, right? And on the website, what they have is uh, $5,800. I got some notes right over here just so I don't forget. $5,800. Now, is that different from $7,800? Yeah, it's less. Okay, well, let's think about this logically. Um, you know, markets go up and down. That's fair. Well, in the last two years, uh, which includes my employment time there, the market has been on quite a bull run. Things have gone up. Okay, so maybe they're just not invested in equities, right? They're, they're more of a, a bond holding that is supplying this pension, right? Uh, okay, well, I mean, treasuries from that time till now have been, have been yielding between 4 and and 5%, given whatever time you want to look at. Uh, but the estimated refund is $2,000 less than what I've contributed? I did the math. Maybe what they're including is uh, the tax hit that I would take upon taking a refund before being 59 and a half and the 10% penalty because it's structured similar to an IRA. It's not an IRA. I think it's like a, a 403A or something like that. It That doesn't matter. The point is you're going to have a penalty for withdrawing early, right? Sure. And I do the math on that, and it it doesn't add up to uh, the two thousand dollars that are missing there. <laughs> so I'm just like, where is the money that I put into it? I can't withdraw right now because I am working for an employer who actually does participate in this pension program, but I'm participating in a different retirement program, also mandatory, mind you. Uh, so. They have less money than I put in. The employer matching isn't going to be vested ever. Uh, and I can't withdraw it until I quit this particular job that I'm in. 
I just have to like, hope they keep mismanaging those funds. I would have done better myself. I've made terrible investing decisions in the past. Okay, I've I've bought stock that went very very low after buying it. I've done that. Uh, I've made terrible decisions with money. Okay, I used to be a smoker. I, I wasted lots of money doing that kind of thing. Uh, I I really I really think my participation in this pension program was a waste of my twelve percent. And frankly, I'm just not convinced otherwise. I'd love to hear people's opinion on this. Uh, do you have good experiences with pensions? Do you uh, get a distribution now post-retirement? Like, man, it really saved my butt for these reasons. Awesome. That's good. And I'm very happy for you. But uh, I think I could have done it better, honestly. Also, looking up information on this particular pension fund, uh, apparently they're insolvent. They are underfunded, and <laughs> they've been that way for a while. What is their plan? Oh, right, more people will start working, and they'll fund the pensions of other people who are retiring. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme, that's right. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a bad system. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced that a pension is what you need for retirement. You're going to give money to these people who are mismanaging it, who aren't doing as well as, as you could do on your own, just investing in the uh, S&P 500, you would do better. And now I understand. Maybe the S&P 500 would crash and you'd have another lost decade, like from 2000 to 2010. Hey, I get it. I get it. But in the short term, might as well have just lit 12% of my money on fire. We'll see. We'll see. In a few years, if I'm still at this place or if I leave it, See if I can get any of that money back. Take my wife out to a nice dinner. Worth it, right? Have a good day.